Hi, this is DC Scrap and Rooster. Okay, last week I did a video um, on these bracelets, and in the video I wrote that I was going to do, uh, I asked you a question whether you liked the pink one or the white one, which in reality what it meant was I was giving one away. Okay, but I'm giving now both of them away, the pink and the white one. So Kiara's here, and she's leaving me today. She's going back home because school starts about another week over there in PA, and I'm going to miss her. So I figured it's a great, uh, great way to do a giveaway is have her give them away. So here we go. Okay, shake, shake, shake. That's it. Okay. I want to hurt myself. Okay, she's going to pick a name. <laughs> and read it. Spare Marbles 2012. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Again! That is Let's a see. beautiful picture. <laughs> Let's see. Let's okay. see. So Show we, it to the camera. I, I don't know where the camera's looking. There we go. There we go. Spare Marbles 2012. That's Diana. Okay, which one did she wish? What? Okay, now put this here. Pull one here. Okay, and what you're going to do, Diane? Spare Marbles 2012. You can send me an email and you get first choice, the pink or the white, because here I can't read. Let me see. Does it say pink or white? Mm. Don't read it. Oh, it just say pink or white. What does she say? The white one. The white she one. Okay, white so you one. like the white one, so the white one was yours. I was going to have you PM me and tell me which one you wanted, but since you already wrote it down, that one's yours, sweetie. Okay, now shake, Yay. shake, shake. Give me that one. What, what happened? Okay, shake, shake, shake. And let's pick another one. Okay, and this is for the pink. Oh, Tanya. I don't know how to say her last name. I don't want to mess it see. up. It is Tanya Hims. Oh, hi, sweetie. <laughs> okay, that's, this one's yours. Yay. Oh, that's good, because pink is her fave. And, okay, <laughs> pink is your fave. There you go. Perfect. Okay, put that one there. Okay, ladies, I'm going to PM you as soon as I upload this video to let you know that you guys won. And to give me your address. Uh, Diane, I think I have your... I, well, obviously, I have your address because you just won something not too long ago. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 so, so, Tanya, I don't have your uh, address, so please PM me. And be prepared, get ready. I'm going to do the quick toot on how to make these uh, bracelets. <laughs> and I'm also going to put um, the tutorial of the artist that also made these uh, bracelets. But hers were, were called um, friendship bracelets. Yeah, friendship bracelets. Yeah, she's uh, an ama amazing artist. And I forgot to put that um, in... The description box last last week so i will put it in this week in this week well this video okay so i'll see you in a bit bye say bye kiara <laughs> okay <laughs> bye bye okay so here's the two okay i use some of these flowers these are the wild orchid craft flowers i have two here which i'm going to cut right now I did some already. Okay, now what I do, I use this little thing here and I put a hole right through the middle, right through there. Okay, 
in and close this up. as close to the middle as you can because sometimes the bud is like right there in the middle and it makes it hard to go directly into the middle but as close as you can okay there you go I go through do it one more time here we go I went through pretty quick so for video purposes okay and then just twist I know I would just do like a little hoop but I'm doing it this way okay there you go okay okay now I already have some of it prepared did here is I cut a piece of chain this is just a plain chain okay I added the clasp end at the end or the, the closure at the end okay I'm using the bead and stretch okay and I already closed it at this end so one end has this part and the other one has the title of and then I start, this is where I'm going to start my beads so I started with this one see just there. Okay, now I'm going to start beading. Okay, I'm going to use this green. And I'm just going to alternate. You can use a uh, nylon thread, you could use a uh, wire if you want, which I used in the past. But I want to try the stretchy um, band or whatever you call it, stretchy thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. And you make as long as you, as long as you want. I have a small um, wrist, so what I try doing is making my bracelets a little bit bigger. And then when I do send them out, I leave instructions on what to do. Because sometimes you might have to adjust it. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I have enough to put. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off with a knot. Okay, I do a couple of knots. So 
So this way I know it's not going anywhere. Okay. Then what I do is I take the end piece of the closure. Okay, I'm doing it this way. That's easier for me. Oops. And all I'm doing is make it just make it a knot. Okay, and I'm not gonna cut this off just yet. I might want to do something else. I think I'm going to put a piece of lace there just to hide the elastic. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it just like that for now. Okay, so it looks like this. See how easy? Okay, now you just start adding your flowers. Okay, and there we pull this side. Here we go. You do it with your fingers, you can do it with your pliers. I have a little hard time seeing at the moment because I'm wearing reading glasses and not my regular glasses. Okay, so here you go. Okay, and I just add the flower in there, close it, I close it right. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do it down here. Let me bring it up a little bit more. Okay. And it's really hard for me to do, to do tutorials and speak at the same time. I can chew gum, gum and walk at the same time. There's just certain things I can't do. As you as you've seen in my past videos, I mean I can do tutorials. It's just speaking over what I'm doing. It's a little bit hard for me, but I'll get better at it. I should have been better at it already, right? It's been two years I've been on already, two three years, something like that. Okay, so all I'm doing is just adding the flowers. Okay, put this way and every other Where is it? Where's the wing? Okay. So look at exactly, seriously, it's 4.20 in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I've been up for the past hour. So I figured, let me finish my tutorial on the bracelet. I think I can't sleep because the kids are coming in today, and it's just their first day, and I'm excited, and I'm pretty sure they're nervous too, and, you know. So that's probably why I couldn't sleep. You know, the first day is always exciting for my kids, you know, because I make it really fun for them, you know. I don't want them to cry when their mommies go, so I tend to make everything really um, fun for them the first day. So we're doing um, the kissing hand, which is a cute little story. And I baked some cookies, the shape of a, a hand, and with a little heart in the middle. That's one of the stories we're going to read today. And I think they'll get a kick out of it. There's my opening.
what else do I have in store for them? I have um, some songs and stuff that I'm going to play for them. Got the sandbox ready, my yard's ready. Everything's pretty much ready. Just hope the weather holds up. We're supposed to get rain. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and you know what I forgot to take out? I forgot to take out the charms. And the ribbon. Okay. I might have to make another two. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, so basically, um, uh, the, what's her name? Oh my god, I, that, I can't remember her name. Um, the other, la the lady that did this tutorial on her, her friendship bracelet, okay, hers is, um, of course she's a pro at it, I'm not. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna add, um, a ribbon here and some charms which I didn't take out but I just wanted to give you the basic and I'll put a piece of uh, ribbon here and I'll cut this off I just don't want to cut it just yet because I want to see I'll probably tie it one more time and make it into um, they tell you to make it into a square a square knot so I'm going to do that but I just wanted to show you how easy it was and I will put the, the her tutorial which is also very, very um, easy to follow um, in the description box. Like I said, I can't tell you her name because I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And and I think it's another language. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so here it is. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.